Hello everyone, my name is Raisan and welcome to Raisan's Prebooth. And in this video, I will be talking about how much air pressure is required to paint a car. So if you have not subscribed to my channel, then consider subscribing because I will be talking about auto body and painting videos on this channel all the time. So if you are interested in auto body and painting, then please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so that you will get a notification when I release my next video. Now while making this video, I'm in the process of making a free course. So if I am done setting up the free course, then I will put a link of it in the description. You can go in the description and check if the course is ready and you can get yourself enrolled for free. So without any further more delay, let's get started. So how much air pressure is required to paint cars? First thing what I will be talking about is the HVLP and LVLP spray guns. Now HVLP spray guns are the new technology spray guns. They have very good atomization and they waste very less paint as compared to LVLP spray guns. Now this HVLP spray guns need at least 26 to 29 PSI to work. Now what is this PSI in the first place? We'll talk about that. Now the PSI is when you connect your air line to your spray gun, there will be a gauge at the bottom of your spray gun where you connect your air hose. Now when you press the trigger half the way, on that gauge it will show you around 90 or 40 PSI whatever it is. But when you press the trigger half the way, the PSI will drop and it will show you the actual PSI. So by pressing the trigger half the way, you should check on the gauge what PSI it is showing. And according to that, you should adjust your PSI. Now to spray the base coat, you need to set up the PSI at 26 PSI. And if you are spraying a clear coat, then you need to set it up to 29 PSI. I hoping that you all have understood till here. Now this HVLP spray guns mostly operate from 10 to 14 CFM. Now what is CFM that I will talk about later in this video. At the moment, this HVLP spray guns need 10 to 14 CFM at around 90 PSI. Then the next spray gun is LVLP spray gun. Now what is the difference between LVLP and HVLP spray gun? Now the HVLP spray guns work on high volume low pressure system and the LVLP spray guns work on low volume low pressure system. So the HVLP takes in more air and the LVLP takes in less air. So the PSI required for the spray gun is 10 to 15 PSI. Here you need 26 to 29 PSI but for LVLP you need only 10 to 15 PSI which means that for base coat you will use 10 PSI and for clear coat you will need 15 PSI. You can still stretch it to 20 to 22 PSI by using the clear coat. The CFM on which these guns operate is 5 to 7 CFM at 40 PSI. Now the look of both these spray guns is almost the same. They are both gravity feed spray guns. The guns on which the paint cup is at the bottom is called a siphon feed spray gun. But both these spray guns are gravity feed spray guns where the paint cup is on top of the gun. Now this LVLP spray gun is very good for DIY projects if you are doing a single panel or a small DIY projects at home, then this gun is the best choice for you because they use less air to operate than the high volume low pressure spray guns. It is not that you will not get a good finish on LVLP spray guns. You will also get good finish on LVLP spray guns like the HVLP spray guns. But this is slightly old technology where it wastes some amount of paint whereas the HVLP spray guns waste a very less amount of paint. Now if you are having a small compressor at home like around 100 liter compressor then this LVLP spray guns are best for it because it will use your air in low volume. But if you connect a HVLP spray gun to a 100 liter compressor it will finish your air in very less time. So if you are having a small compressor then try to use LVLP spray guns as much as possible. Now all this information which I am talking about I will put it in written format in my course of which I will put a link in the description. You can go there and get yourself enrolled. Now once again for HVLP spray guns you need 26 to 29 PSI and for LVLP spray guns you need 10 to 15 PSI. Now let's move on to the facts about air compressors. Now you must be thinking how big air compressor do I need? Now let me tell you here the bigger the compressor the better because the air is never enough. Believe me guys. So if you are trying to go for a small compressor, try to go for at least a 100 liter air compressor which has a 2 to 3 HP motors. I recommend 3 HP motor because 3 HP motor can give you 10 to 14 CFM. But this 100 liter compressor is not enough to paint a car. But you can still paint the car by pushing the compressor to the limits. But it will make lots of water in the airline because it will be continuously running while you are doing the paint job. Now the best thing to do when you are using a compressor like this is you will have to connect a LVLP spray gun for that which will use less air and it will give the compressor some time to rest. But if you connect a HVLP spray gun to this 100 liter compressor it will finish your air in no time. So if you are working on small DIY projects 
or if you are just painting a panel then this compressor is enough for you. You can use a LVLP spray gun with it and it will be more than sufficient. But if you want to go to the professional level then this is the compressor you should be looking at. A 200 to 250 liter compressor which should at least have a 5 HP motor. Now this 5 HP motor you can connect in your house if you have three phase connection of electricity. You don't have to change any wires you just have to prepare a socket a three phase socket in which you can plug in this motor. Now I show in my course exactly how to do connections of this compressor in your house. If you are interested but this is a slightly high level course this is a not a free course which I am talking about now. I will put a link of it also in the description if you want to get yourself enrolled then you can go there check the web page if you see that the information is useful to you then you can go there and enroll yourself. Now this 200 to 250 liter compressor will easily give you 10 to 14 CFM at 90 PSI and you can easily paint your car with it. I have done it and I did not have any problems in it. You can use with it either HVLP or LVLP spray guns. It doesn't matter because it will run smoothly. Now the next thing that we will talk about is the SCFM. What is this SCFM? Well now the SCFM means standard cubic feet per minute. Now lots of guys get confused on this CFM because when you go to buy tools any phenomatic tools then it will be written on it that 10 to 14 CFM at 90 PSI, 5 to 7 CFM at 40 PSI. Now what does that mean? It means that that particular tool will use that much amount of CFM at 90 PSI. For example, if it is written 13 CFM at 90 PSI, it means that that particular tool will use 13 CFM at 90 PSI. But that doesn't mean that you need 90 PSI to spray the paint out of your spray gun. Many people misunderstand this thing. They think that they need 90 PSI on their spray gun to spray the paint, which is very, very wrong. So the correct amount of PSI that you will need when you press the trigger half the way for HVLP spray gun you will need 26 to 29 PSI and for LVLP spray guns you will need 10 to 15 PSI. Now this CFM I will divide in two categories which is 40 and 90. Now the 40 is for the LVLP spray guns because it works on 5 to 7 CFM at 40 PSI. And the 90 I will put for HVLP spray guns because it will need around 10 to 14 CFM at 90 PSI. So I'm hoping that you all guys have understood what I'm trying to tell you. When you are a beginner it will look slightly confusing but it is my job to clear your confusion totally. So if you have any confusions then see that you comment below and let me know and as much as possible I will try to answer your questions. So if you want more information on this then you can either wait for the free course or you can get yourself enrolled in the basic course where you will learn how to mix paints, level the dents, mix the primers, spray the primers, base coats, clear coats. Everything is covered in my base course. I will put a link of it in the description. If you are interested and if you want to up level your skill, then go there and get yourself enrolled. I have even written a book on this. The book is available on Amazon. Before getting enrolled, if you want to read the entire book and take all the knowledge, then you can definitely go on Amazon and buy a copy for yourself. So hoping that this particular video was useful to you. If this video was useful, then see that you like and share with your friends and family. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, then press the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you will get a notification when I release my next video. And like this, you will never miss any of my videos. Till then, this is Raisan Fernandez signing out. Until we meet again.